Hello guys, James here. This is my usage experience of MIUI Mind Edition 4.1 for the Poco F1. So this ROM is MIUI 13 based on Android 12 and it comes with Perf kernel by default. First things first, safety net does pass out of the box and banking apps do work fine. A neat little touch that I noticed with this ROM is that it shows the privacy indicator while using face unlock. Usually uh, MIUI does not do this even the Android 12 versions of other MIUI ROMs that I've tried. But the main highlight of this ROM is the customization on offer. In the settings you have a separate section called the mind lab where all sorts of customization reside. You can see a lot of customization on offer from icon styles to control center where you can set different types of wallpaper based theming for your control center. And yes, this is the new control center which I am a fan of. Uh, having access to this volume panel without touching the volume buttons is kind of a lifesaver for me because my volume button is broken. It's also a neat little convenience which I'm a fan of. Apart from that, you have your launcher mode, settings, dialer, list view animation, notifications, etc. So yeah, this is a ton of customization for an MIUI based ROM and you usually don't see this. This level of customization is only seen in AOSP based ROMs and that is the reason you install custom ROMs in the first place for a lot of customization. Even in the launcher, if you go to settings, you can see a ton of customization you have your animation speeds and yeah this ROM also comes with the go back to previous app which means if you are in an app you can use the old style hold your back button to go to the previous app you also can swipe on the navigation bar to switch apps but this is also a neat little convenience you also have google photos unlimited backup enabled by default which is cool and another neat little thing that i noticed about this ROM is that the volume steps are uh, the number of volume steps is comparatively lower when compared to other ROMs. If you can see in other MIUI ROMs, the volume control is very granular. While in this, you can see the individual steps of volume control. The volume steps in this one is actually very good. Each step has a reasonable you know change in volume level. And one more thing is that you get bigger folders like this, so you can launch apps directly by touching the app icon inside the folder, which I think is cool because you can club a lot of apps in a single place. The overall performance of this ROM is also really good. The animations are smooth, everything has been consistent. There has been no random reboots or anything like that. App launch speeds are also good. It's not the fastest ROM out there, but it is good enough. Just like the last time, I can't really comment on the battery life because uh, I have not tested it extensively like that. And I usually charge around 80% and let it drain. So I'm sorry for that. I don't have a specific screen on time for this ROM. The battery life I would say is normal, it's not very good, it's not very bad either. Now coming to the things that I'm not a fan of, the first one is face unlock. So I usually have this option turned on where it stays on the lock screen after a successful face unlock so that I can read the notifications without totally skipping over it. But in this ROM, as you can see even if I'm unlocking the phone with my face and I swipe up, it still asks for my pin. And one more weird bug, if I'm using Google Photos and I let the phone sit for a while and let the screen turn off, when I turn it back on, the colors will be shifted in a weird way. And yeah, the night mode bug also exists in this ROM. You can see night mode is turned on currently. So if I turn it off, the screen looks more yellow, like the night mode actually turned on. Even now, night mode is turned on, but with less intensity. Overall, I think that this is a very good ROM and if you want an MIUI ROM with a lot of customization, this is the ROM to go for. You can change a lot of options in this ROM to make it really your own. It feels like one of those AOSP ROMs with a ton of customization. The stability of this ROM is also good. Even though it has a lot of customization, nothing has really crashed on me or it hasn't felt unstable at all. Apart from that, yeah, it's a good daily driver ROM with a lot of customization on offer and the performance is also good. So that has been it for my usage experience of MIUI Mind Edition 4.1 for the POCO F1. If you have any questions or queries, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and see you guys in the next one.